Another day, another dollar. Am I right? Except this day and dollar happen to be actually on my birthday that we are headed into work right now. But yeah, today's January 20th. And as of today, I am 23. It is probably going to be a busy day at work today. Um, yesterday was busy. Monday was supposed to be busy, but then I like couldn't get the stuff that I needed to done and like not to a fault of my own. And so, you know, that's always a little bit frustrating. So I'm just really not, I'm not feeling like in a fun birthday mood or anything because you know, put it into jail. But what I did do, I have my coffee here. This is my first cup. And then I have a little cold brew that there's honestly barely, like it's like half the thing. But it's what I had left of the cold brew that I really liked. So I decided I'd bring that too. Have like a fun little treat. I feel like I got a bit to catch you up on, which obviously we won't do like right now so we can get the vlog going. And then, you know, it's not just like one big talking clip right in the beginning. But since I stopped vlogging on Monday and today is Friday, there have been a few like Actually, there's been like quite a few kind of monumental things that have gone on in the past few days. No like big news or anything, but like progress, you know? Oh, and maybe you noticed I did get my nails done and I'm absolutely loving the color and the length. The fact that they're shorter again, love that. Let me head into jail though. Let's hope I survive the day. And if I do, then we'll catch up later. <laughs> So thankfully, the only like bad thing that happened today was my nail. Can you see it? I don't want to flip you off. My nail broke in the middle, which out of like birthday bad things to happen, that's okay. I'll take it. The day at work was real busy, just filled with seeing kids, documenting, lots of documentation, lots of paperwork, lots of typing, lots of getting caught up. And I do work at the same facility both Saturday and Sunday. So I think I did a good amount where hopefully those days won't be as busy, but I really don't know what I want to do with the rest of my night. Zach and I are going to go out to dinner tomorrow that's what I decided instead of tonight just because I don't know why it's like getting off of work I just I want to fit in a workout and I just feel like going out to dinner tonight was gonna I don't know increase some stress on me and already being not like in a super fun mental space I don't want to increase stress so we'll celebrate tomorrow and I'll try to take it I don't know easy of some sense tonight I don't know why I'm like feeling this kind of just like me kind of way but I'm going to you know practice some mindfulness some acceptance and just be like all right yesterday was an iffy day today's an iffy day but not all of my future days are going to be like this so it's okay to like ride out this wave while it's here and then the wave will be gone and I'll be feeling cheery and festive and happy and ready to go get dinner tomorrow <laughs> Don't know where my head's at Feeling like I'm always trying to get up on the right track I didn't take any b-roll last night because I didn't want like the mental pressure of vlogging you know to hinder my mood improvement but I I think I did get a successful mood improvement yesterday like I ended up laying on the floor for a long time whenever I got home and then eventually like did some laundry had a very nice shower read my book played some Mario Kart like there was a lot that I did <laughs> that like the rest relaxed self-care night of birthday night ended up going well or at least neutral but like neutral well i am now done with work today it is about 1 p.m on a saturday i had a super positive interaction with a parent today who came for visitation which it's always the type of thing where it's like i don't need recognition to do my work like i don't technically need that but it is very nice to have like a recognition of work done in kind ways and so it really just like made my heart melt a bit to be able to have that interaction with that parent and to hear her gratitude and you know how it's been tough but like her son has said that the counseling has been helping and look i'm gonna tear up a little bit i'm gonna tear up a little bit but i feel like that was a nice cherry on top of the day was hearing that as far as today goes which i'll try to actually like vlog through it instead of just like getting home and then ghosting you for the rest of the day. Zach and I are going out to dinner tonight, which I think I already mentioned. I am gonna work out. I took yesterday off because I was in my exhaust era and I was feeling like mental pressure of it instead of mental joy about working out. And I was like, it was my birthday. So in my head, I don't need to work out on my birthday unless it was gonna be something so fun that was gonna bring me joy. But yesterday just didn't feel like that. But today I will go work out. And then I also need to finish up a video that's going to be posted on Sunday, tomorrow, cause I have not yet. So just a couple things going on. But again, the goal is to do activities that are peaceful and fun since I'm still kind of coddling myself since the mood's been down low, but the mood is better today than it was yesterday. So taking those wins as they come. OMG, time flies pretty fast. Mom told me no one's ever lasting. Five, four, three, step out of the nest. Let's first start straight away. 
I feel like we're just doing after work check-ins. There was a time this summer when like that's how I vlogged. And I guess maybe last year too, where it was just like after work check-ins. But it is Sunday and I just got home from my book club actually. I was thinking today I was gonna do like a little fun like book vlog for my book channel, but I'm just not doing it because I would not have enough content. But the book club was over Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Jillian McAllister, which I ended up really liking. I went into it not thinking I would like it that much, but really hoping that I would like it a lot because I had to pay $28 for the hardcover. <laughs> but I ended up actually really liking it. I gave it five stars, but it's a double book club day because this afternoon I go to my silent book club. So right now I have like two hours before I need to leave for that. So I'm gonna try to squeeze a workout in, kind of just see like what I can do. So despite being a busy day, it is a fun, like it, they're both activities that I picked for myself. I went to work this morning. I left early so I could make my book club, but I really just did rounds of paperwork, that was about it. Last night, Zach and I did end up going out to dinner, which you would have seen clips of. We went to the Iberian Pig in Decatur, Georgia, which is tapas. We love a good tapa. And they ended up bringing out little like birthday kava with the little candle. That's what that video clip was, which I thought was cute and fun and special. And then we were thinking about going to Jenny's Ice Cream, which was right next door. But the line was so super long that instead we stopped by Publix. And I was thinking about getting ice cream, but they didn't have any like good non-dairy options at the Publix that we were at so instead I got these chocolate covered raspberries that I've like been looking at every time I go grocery shopping for the past very long time but just never get because they're like eight dollars for like a kind of small bag of these frozen chocolate covered stra not strawberries frozen chocolate covered raspberries but I was like you know if it's the birthday treat then it's the birthday treat and so we got those and it ended up being really good as well so despite the blend move for the actual birthday the celebrating ended up being good let me go get my workout in we'll check in <laughs> Hopefully before after work tomorrow. <laughs> On the right track, feeling so lost. Can you help me find the right path? Baby, if you follow, I'll catch you. Diving in deep, I need a rescue. Cause ain't nobody coming to our rescue. We just gotta do what we gotta do. This is feeling like deja vu. Every single time I'm coming back to you. I'm about to head into my silent book club. I feel like I keep just like, I don't know, I feel like I'm on the run today, which is kind of fun. It's kind of fun to be busy and have places to go. But before I head in, I remembered that at the beginning of this video kind of teased like, oh, there's several things that I want to get caught up to you and talk to you with. And then I never actually did. And so to avoid putting them off any longer, making it feel like too, too much bigger of a deal than it is. The number one thing is that I did officially get my school certification, my social work school, school social work certification. I mentioned this briefly in previous videos, but 
basically in Georgia, it doesn't require like any extra classes or anything specific, but it's just like it's paperwork and you have to submit your transcripts and all of that. And so I did that and it finally went through and I am officially a certified school social worker, which I feel like sounds fancier and cooler than it actually is. Maybe I also need to not minimize and like give myself credit. So then the second piece of news that goes with that is I have officially applied to two separate school systems, like submitted application, resume, references, all of that. And so obviously I'm not expecting to hear anything back and the intention would be that it would be for next school year, which would, you know, not start yet, but it does feel nice just with my little quarter life crisis and everything to know that there are steps in motion to kind of get closer to where I, you know, hope to be in life or just change things up, kind of meet an end goal, whatever it may be. I have two applications that are out in the air waiting to get heard back from. So if you could just send some good thoughts to my applications <laughs> direction, that would be wonderful. But yeah, Silent Book Club, we're meeting at a bubble tea, boba place today. And I've never been here before. And the last time I that I had boba, I think was in like March of last year. So I'm very excited for that. And I'm gonna head in and we'll catch up. We'll catch up again. One of these days, I will take down my Christmas tree, and today is not that day. But I did get a little package that I didn't know what it was because it was an Amazon that I wasn't expecting. And so I checked because I share an Amazon account with my mom and my little sister, and I saw that there was something that was delivered to my address. So I texted my mom and was like, "Is this yours? Like, did you mean to send this to me?" She was like, "No, it's a birthday gift. Like, there should have been a note, but I hadn't opened it yet." But what we can see is that it does it does happen to be a birthday gift from my little sister. It's. The boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse, which I've never heard of before. It's a good sound. Oh boy. Okay, it's kind of interesting. So, I'll have to spend time with this later. I had thought I set my phone somewhere close by so I could look on Goodreads what that book is, and yeah, no, apparently I didn't. The other thing is I got this little free gift bag from Ulta. Nothing to do with my birthday, but I'm pretending that it does. Really, I just got shampoo from them, and it was like a spend however many get a free gift. So now I feel like I need to like plan out using these because it's so many just like cute little sample sized guys. Ooh, little perfumes. I'm gonna smell like something different every day this week. Oh, this is a Kylie lip kit. So bougie, so bougie. I'm gonna finish up the night playing some Mario Kart. Silent Book Club was really fun. I don't think, I don't think we've caught up since then. I ended up getting they had like, it was called like the Zang Zang special or something, but it was like taro milk tea, but it, something made it different. But you know, the like purple, which is a flavor that I really love. So the milk tea was good and I was able to get an almond milk. So that was good too. And then the people are fun and good. So I read for an hour and then hung out for an hour and tomorrow back to work I go. I'm headed back to my coffee shop for the off day and I've realized that maybe I'm starting to have a problem because you know it's been my goal to be a regular somewhere and now I showed up later than usual because I just drove Zach to work and now it's like 45 minutes past opening that I'm showing up and I've realized that if someone is in the seat that I want I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> I'm not very upset. Like, I'll get over it. I'll be fine. But I guess, like, does that officially make me a regular? Because now it's been almost two months I've gone weekly. That seems pretty regular behavior, if you ask me. Today at the coffee shop, though, I do have an article that I need to finish. I need to finish it. And then I'm going to get a couple of the, like, content deliverables over to socialworkdegrees.org for this month is the goal. Notice how I'm speaking it in, like, as if it's, I'm going to get, yeah, I will. I'm going to get those over to them this month. I'm going to start editing maybe this video, honestly. I think probably this video I'm going to start editing. <laughs> I brought my camera just in case I was going to export footage or anything. Yesterday at work, I was there the whole day. I was actually there pretty long. I was there 7.30 to 4.30 because on Sunday, I didn't stay as long with the book clubs and everything that was going on. And in that time, I was productive, but I didn't get to see any of the kids that I wanted to see. You know, it's a good job whenever you have to spend as much energy trying to do your job as you do actually doing your job. <laughs> 
And now one of my coworkers has applied to both of the same school districts that I did. So part of me is like, oh, yay, happy for you. And part of me is like, my competition. I have not heard back yet, which I think is normal because it makes a week today since I've applied. And I think with school systems, like at this current time is usually when they're sending out like contracts for next year, so trying to get a gauge on like who's going to stay and where they'll actually be openings and everything like that. So my hopes are still doing well. <laughs> And I'm gonna go get in there before someone takes the good seats. productivity update. I have moved back to the apartment now, if that's not obvious. It is 125 and I've done quite a bit, I feel like. Like while I was at the coffee shop, which I didn't end up staying all that long, but I did get 650 page, nope, 650 words out of the article that I'm writing. I got 650 words done out of like 1,000 to 1,500 range. So, I mean, it's a good start. It's definitely not done, but it is a good start to it. I just finished my book that I'm doing for a little reading vlog. Am shook. Go subscribe to the book too if you want to see that reading vlog when it comes out. I don't know yet when it's going to come out. Some things I still need to do in the day. Grocery shop, which I'm not looking forward to, but I'm going to try to plan my meals based on like what we have in the pantry because I feel like we're starting to stockpile on a lot of ingredient type things that aren't used in every meal. So it's just random things like, oh, a bag of sliced almonds. Oh, shredded coconut, like stuff like that where it's starting to take up a lot of room and be a full pantry, even though it's like not stuff that we just use on the daily. So I'm gonna try to plan effectively, efficiently. Still haven't started editing a video, so we'll get to that soon but i'm really trying to get as much done today as i possibly can because with my whole two days off in a row thing you know that we love then i can theoretically do a lot of like rest tomorrow which i am very much hoping for I'm trying to think if i have anything else to talk to you about i feel like i had so many like thoughts in my head and i was like oh i need to share with the vlog and then as soon as i turn on the camera they just stop they cease to exist but if i come up with any or remember any of them <laughs> i'll definitely let you know <laughs> hope you're doing well today OMG, time flies pretty fast Mom told me no one's ever lasting Five, four, three, step out of the nest Let's first start straight away I don't wanna waste my time complaining I don't wanna trade places for no one Never please my eyes shut down for Today is going to have to work on a rewards-based system if I'm going to get the things done that I like am hoping to get done. And it's not even like strict to do, it's just like structure of the day, you know, structuring the day well. So we're gonna do this by doing half to do's, should, I'm gonna say should to do's, even though that's not like a really good phrase. <laughs> should do's, <laughs> should to do's. <laughs> and want to do's is last. I love being a teacher like this. Okay, in the half to do's today, we have buy toothpaste. Did Zach and I go to Kroger yesterday? Yes, we did. But unfortunately, we share one brain cell between the two of us in this relationship. And even though we literally, like, don't, we don't have toothpaste. To the point where, like, we've squeezed all of the... There's no more squeezing that can be done. And so... And both of us knew that. And yet we didn't buy toothpaste yesterday when we were at the store. So I do have to do that today. In that same outing, I'm going to return books to the library because I have quite a few books right now that I am finished with. And so I can, you know, get some space off. And then also with returning the books, I can pick up the holds that I have ready for me. However, before doing that, I'm going to film like portions of the reading wrap up for this upcoming month for my booktube channel. I'm working on like doing reading vlogs and stuff for that, but I just haven't gotten, I wouldn't say I haven't gotten good at it, but it's just like, they're not cranking out at the speed at which they would be if that were my main channel, but like obviously it's not. So the last video I posted on it was the December wrap up and now I'm gonna be starting to film the January wrap up. Obviously we're still in January, so it's gonna be like a patchwork of filming <laughs> together, but I want to be able to like physically have the books whenever I'm filming it. And I need to finish the mindfulness article that I mentioned yesterday. I got, like I said, like 650 words done of it and I don't think the remaining portion will be tough at all. It'll just be, you know, finishing it, making it be good so that I can submit it and then also work out. That's gonna be on the have to do's today. Though so today, I'm doing, I'm basically always doing like Sydney Cummings, whether I'm specifically following a program. I'll put like a picture of her little YouTube thing over here because sometimes people ask, because I think I always verbally say it, but I don't like type it anywhere so you can see. 
but Sydney Cummings Howdy Shell on YouTube posts pretty much daily different workouts and she has been for maybe four years. I found her in 2020 during quarantine. She was like my lockdown workouts, but she has basically any workout that you could ever want, whether you are in the gym and you're looking to use like heavy dumbbells or if you're at home and you're looking for no equipment or if you're looking for cardio or hit or not hit, <laughs> low impact. She has basically some of everything, but I'm doing the program that she's like coming out with now. I'm not doing them on the days. I'm a few days behind because I started a few days later. So I'm on a 30 minute legs and abs today I think but it's just 30 minutes so I'm also gonna walk on the treadmill those are all the have to do's should do's is put away the rest of the laundry that's in my room right now honestly probably start a new load of laundry because the thing with delaying putting away laundry is that then by the time I actually put away laundry there's more laundry to do which then means there's more laundry to put away but then I'm tired because I just put away it's a cycle that I'm trying to break and also take down my Christmas tree I think it might be time now that it is January 25th <laughs> one month after Christmas but I put the Christmas tree up no I put it up like a month before Christmas it's it's all right, it's all right. But then the things I'm really like wanting to do today, one, play Mario Kart. I didn't play Mario Kart at all yesterday. I've been loving like putting on an audiobook, turning the sound all the way down on Mario Kart, just like putting on an audiobook or a podcast or something and just playing Mario Kart. It's been great. And I've been getting better at it, which is always fun too. I wanted to sit and read. And I put update budget in the want to do because like I don't have to do that today at all But it's just been a second since I've updated my budget and so I'm going to update my budget <laughs> See what is going on there So as far as then the planning goes I'm gonna start with the wrap-up Now I have a numbered list of what I'm going to do today. Here, I'll come over here so maybe you can see it. I'm gonna start by filming that reading wrap up and then I'm gonna start the laundry, go do 30 minutes in my article, go to the library and get the grocery store toothpaste. There's a couple other things that I need. Come back, I put laundry again because I'm gonna like put away the laundry that's already on my floor, maybe transfer from the washer to the dryer, you know, that kind of deal. And then I have 30 minutes more in the article. Then I'm gonna take down my tree, do about two races of Mario Kart, finish the article, however long that's gonna take, finish laundry, because at that point the new load will probably be dry, so I can put that away. Then I'll go work out and I'll read whether on the treadmill or come back here, and then the next task after that is dinner. I don't know why, but schedules like this kind of make the day fun for me, while also helping like <laughs> organize my thoughts, so that at the end of the day it's not like, oh man, I wish I would have done this, this, and this. It's like, oh no, like I was able to get things that I wanted to done, get things that I needed to done, also chill a little bit, do the things that I think are fun. And so I like having days that I can kind of do it like this because the pressure is low, but that is a fun little schedule to stick to. <laughs> Okay, my article progress is going pretty well. I have had just one shenanigan happen though where I'm about to go on errands and now I have something new that I need to get. So basically, <laughs> Um, I am using the restroom and I go to flush the toilet and there is like nothing happens with the flush Like I'm pressing the little handle. There's no resistance or anything So I was like that seems like an issue that doesn't seem like that's supposed to be what's happening And so being the plumber that I am, you know I pull off the top and see that the little plastic piece that's supposed to like pull up the thing like you flush It does this and like pulls up the thing so the toilet actually flushes is snapped in half just like snapped in half and so the good thing is that and so whenever i go to kroger now i'm gonna get some plastic like the rubber gloves because one i've been wanting them for a while just for like cleaning purposes and everything but two then i can reach in there and you know manually flush it before <laughs> before having maintenance come to my house <laughs> So it's like a fine shenanigan, but I just like wasn't expecting to be a plumber today. And so now what's on the shopping list is toothpaste. Do not let me forget toothpaste. It's gonna be your fault if I forget toothpaste. Dill, they're out, they were out of fresh dill yesterday. And so if they're still out of fresh dill, I'll just get dried dill. And then mangoes, they were out of fresh mangoes yesterday. Cause also like they're not in season at all. So if they're still out of mangoes, then I'll just get frozen mangoes, which are solutions that I don't know why I didn't come up with that yesterday, but there were no brain cells working at the time that we were at grocery store yesterday. I'm holding this like this, cause I'm not gonna show you the brain name because I'm about to spill some tea but I have this pack of shots that have been in my fridge for honestly a few months at this point like I'm gonna check expiration I feel like it's gonna be fine though and I am gonna take one right now for a pick-me-up but I'm not gonna promote it and like I said I'm not saying the brand name because I want to spill a little tea but they sent me these because they wanted to work with me a few months ago at this point and they offered a whole year-long contract which I was like year-long contract like you're taking a chance on me here how fun guaranteed income you know that type of deal and they were requesting dedicated 
dedicated videos once a month for a year. And so dedicated video means like no other brands are mentioned. That's when there's like the two to three minute like clip where you're just talking about the brand. So it's like a pretty big deal on video because like if I'm going to take two minutes out of my footage time to talk about a brand, like that's a pretty, they get a lot of exposure for that. So that's the one in 12 videos dedicated once a month for a year. And here's where the fun part comes. <laughs> they offered to pay $16 <laughs> per video. <laughs> 16. So it honestly would probably be like 10 after taxes, maybe like 12 after taxes, $12 for a whole two to three minutes in a video. Um, so I respectfully declined and gave my running rate and they, what I felt like was less respectfully <laughs> answered and was like, well, actually, this is the only rate they'll offer you. And I said, that's okay. You know, I don't, I'm not choosing to work then. All that to say, I feel like it's been relatively rare at this point that I've been doing sponsored videos. A lot of that's just due because like the work behind it and YouTube is not my main income source at this moment. But there are <laughs> lots behind the scenes that get <laughs> told no to much more so than the ones that actually make it through to production and to actually me posting a video that they sponsor. My standards are relatively high. Granted, the $16 is below just about anyone's bar, I would think, except I've actually been seeing a lot of people being sponsored by that same company. So I hope that they learned and are like paying people what they're worth <laughs> is what I hope. But I haven't been nosy enough to ask anyone else yet. All right, I'm gonna go on my, my little errand, my little jaunt across town, and then we'll get back to the schedule. Haul time, three books. This one's for a vlog. This one is like my most anticipated book maybe ever because it's Natasha Lester's new release. My queen, my monarch. And this one is Heartstopper Volume 2, which I'm very excited for as well. <laughs> Cleaning gloves that I'll stick my hand in the toilet with. Toothpaste. We were struggling so much. They didn't have fresh dill, so I got dried dill. And then they did have mangoes today, so I got mangoes for the recipe. It's actually two recipes this week that require mangoes, so I guess I was just in a mood, even though they're out of season. And I also got myself vitamin D, because I think that I need it. <laughs> I have my little vitamin thing here. I'm so bad at taking vitamins. Like, I'm so bad at taking vitamins. In that, I filled this up whenever I got it back in October. Never once. Never once have I taken them. I think the thing that hinders me, like literally all seven of them, can you see? All seven of them are full. I think the thing that hinders me is that my vitamins have to be taken not on an empty stomach, but like my stomach is not empty most of the day. I eat meals. I eat meals, so I should be able to take the vitamin with the meal, but I think I'm gonna change it so that my goal starts to be to take it with dinner because breakfast obviously is not a plan that's worked for me considering these have been sitting here for four months and not one single day have gotten taken. I close all of them except Wednesday because if it's just staring at me, flipping me off, you think I should remember to take them today once I eat again. Funny how it all looks different The guy is to the snow no more I see everyone so distant Pretending to be fine alone But I plan to be more patient And stop judging the cold But it's gonna over OMG time flies pretty fast Mom told me no one's ever lasting. Five, four, three, step out of the nest. That's a fresh start straight away. I don't wanna waste my time complaining. I don't wanna play dirty to win it. God forbid my eyes shut down for I realize all the real minute of living. I don't want this shit. No, I don't want it. No, no.